the Archaeological Survey of India, ASI, has done pioneering work in the field of archaeological heritage of the nation in the past 150 years. In 1861, Lord Canning, the Governor General of India, accepted the proposal made by Sir Alexander Cunningham and established the Archaeological Survey of India. The publication, entitled Archaeological Remains, Monuments and Museums, Volume 1 and 2, in 1964, by the survey summarizes the archaeological investigations, analysis of the retrieved data in the form of remains and monuments, and the collections of different site museums. This film is about the documentation of temples and other archaeological remains, monuments, and antiquities found in Tripura. Tripura is located on the extreme corner of the Indian subcontinent, has Bangladesh as its border on its north, west, and south. Assam and Mizoram border the eastern part of the state. Tripura was always a princely state, ruled by a Maharaja until the time of independence. Yet, this tiny state has a variety of attractions in terms of archaeological and monumental importance and religious significance. As regards the origin of the state's name, it is said that Tripura has been coined from two Tripuri words, Tui, meaning water, and pra, meaning near. According to another opinion, the name Tripura originated from the name of its presiding deity, Tripura Shunduri, or Tripureshwari. The Ancient Monuments and Archaeological Sites and Remains Act, 1958, embraces any area or structure, erection or monument, any tumulus or place of interment, any cave, rock sculpture, inscription or monolith, including the portion of land which is of historical, archaeological or artistic interest that has been in existence for not less than 100 years. The temple of Tripura Shundari or Tripureshwari is regarded as one of the 51 Pithosthans of Hindu pilgrims in India. The Tripura Shundari temples consist of square type sanctum of the typical Bengali hut style construction with a conical dome standing gloriously on a hillock at Udaipur. The Tripura Shundari temple is located 55 kilometers from Agartala and 3 kilometers from Udaipur. It is known that the temple was first constructed by Maharaja Dhanumaniku in 1501 AD. The placid lake Kullanshagur is situated at the backside of the temple complex. According to an inscription note on the monuments by the Archaeological Survey of India, there are two identical images of the same deity, Tripura Shundari, inside the temple. One is called Chotoma, which is about two feet in height, while the other Tripura Shundari is five feet. The temple is also known as Kurmopito because the shape of the temple premises appear like that of a kurmo, a tortoise. 
Inside the temple, the idol of Ma Kali was installed, which is made of reddish black Koshti Pathur. Ma Kali is worshipped here in Shoroshi form. Ujjayanta Palace, standing in the heart of the city, is a famous royal house covering an area of one square kilometer. Styled in Greek sculpture, Ujjanta Palace was built by Maharaja Radha Kishor Manikko in 1901 at a cost of 10 lakhs of rupees. The palace is set with a huge lug hole style garden adorned by pools and fountains, superbly tiled floors, curved wooden ceiling, and exquisitely crafted doors. The three-storied mansion has a mixed architecture with three high domes, the center one being 86 feet high. Its well laid out gardens have two large tanks on either side and the fountains are laid out in the pattern of the Mughal garden. On all sides of the palace complex, several temple complexes have been developed. The temples are of Lokhi Narayan, Uma Maheshwar, Durga Bari, and Jagunnath. Another attraction of the Rajbari is the Chandra Mahal. Maharaja Bir Bikram Maniko, the last Maharaja in Tripura, had planned to establish a college at Agartala on an area of 254 acres of undulating tila land consisting of flakes all around 
in the eastern part of Agartala. Maharaja Bir Bikram Manikka College, MBB College, is the first degree college in the state. MBB College started functioning under the University of Calcutta only in the year 1947. Nirmahal, located in the northeastern state of Tripura, is the water palace. Built in 1930 by Maharaja Bir Bikram Kishor Maniko as a summer resort, it is located at a distance of about 53 kilometers from Agartala. Nirmahal is one of the best amalgamation of Hindu and Muslim architecture and design. Nirmahal is located at the center of the lake covering an area of 5.3 square kilometers. The spectacular monument still reflects the splendor of its past glory and really leaves one spellbound. The palace is encircled by the Rudra Shagur Lake, which is visited by a large number of migratory birds in winter. The Tripura Government Museum was established in the year 1970. The museum contains some rare stone images, old coins, 
and archaeological articles from Tripura. The museum also houses some very exquisite items of stone and other archaeological items excavated from the adjoining area, gatha embroidery, and the 8th to 10th century Buddhist culture from Pilak. This is the ideal place to see and know about the culture and tradition of Tripura's past and present. One can find numerous works of art and architecture giving an insight into ancient Tripura. The famous Bhubaneshwari temple is situated on the bank of Gomuti at Udaipur. The temple is immortalized in two of Rabindranath Tagore's plays, Rajarshi and Bisharjun. Located just 55 kilometers from the capital city of Agartala. The Bhubaneshwari Temple of Tripura is a rare specimen of temple architecture. The temple, built by Maharaja Gobindo Manikko, is located near the old royal palace of Maharaja Gobindo Manikko, constructed during 1660 to 1675 AD. The roof features the typical four chala style with stupa-like crowns at the entrance and core chambers. The stupa on the core chamber is adorned with floral motifs that are exquisite. There are a number of magnificent temples like Jagannath presenting an outstanding example of temple architecture. The place is dotted with many lakes. Some of them are Jagannath Dikhi and Mahadev Dikhi. Udaipur is also famous as a temple town of Tripura. The architectural beauties can be seen in Gunaputi temples Mohadev Bari, Ramkrishna Mission, and many other places. The Komala Shagur Kali Temple of Koshba, also known as Koshba Kali, about seven kilometers from Agartala. 
Komala Shagur Kali Temple is raised on a hillock overlooking a vast lake called Komala Shagur. The lake at the border of Bangladesh is a scenic destination. The image of the goddess in the temple resembles that of Doshubhuja Durga or Mohishashura Murtini. The goddess, made up of sandstone, is worshipped in the temple as Kali. And the presence of Shivalinga at its feet has led to the naming of the temple as Kalibari. The huge Komala Shagur Lake, situated here, was excavated by Maharaja Dhanu Manikko Bahadur in the late 15th century AD. And the Komala Shagur Kali Temple at the top of the hillock dates back to the 17th century. Malunchaniwas is the bungalow inside the Kunjabun Palace located on the hillock. It was basically a kacha house where Rabindranath Tagore stayed in 1919 and was gradually developed as a pakka house and named Malunchaniwas. Kunjabun Palace was originally built in 1917 by Maharaja Kishore Manikko. It is located at a distance of one kilometer from the Ujjayanta Palace on a hillock. The palace is the official residence of the governor of Tripura. The southern part of the palace is open to the public and has been named as Robindro Kanon. Nestling in a lush valley, Unokoti, meaning one less than a crore, is an exaggeration of the colossal representation of Shiva in varied forms, along with other gods and goddesses carved in bas relief on the face of the hillock. These bas-relief sculptures of Shiva, depicting only the faces, 
may be considered as the largest in size in India. The art style differs from the classical and depicts typical tribal features, both in decoration and anatomy. They are unique art forms. The three rock-cut Ganesha figures on a rock fall, tumbling downstream from a local spring flowing onto the heads, give it a bathing scene effect. The highly mutilated loose cultures, some temple architectural members, traces of a brick temple on top of the hillock, indicate the existence of a temple, perhaps prior to these rock carvings, dating back to the 9th or 10th century AD. on the basis of the Choturmukho and Ekomukho lingas. Uma Maheshwar, Maheshashura Murdini, Ganesha, etc. Besides some Vaishnavite cults attest this valley as one of Shivite centers, flourishing during the Pala rule, which must have influenced the great rock cut curvings dating back to the 11th or 12th century AD. Thus, Unukuti was a great center for religious activities that flourished at least for more than three centuries. The ancient Chaturdasha Devata temple is located in Old Agartala, about 14 kilometers away from Agartala. The temple has a Nat Mandap and a Griho. has 14 head images of gods and goddesses called Chotur Dasha Devota like Shiv, Durga, Vishnu, Lokhi, Shadashati, Kartik, Ganesh, Brahmo 
and others and are ceremoniously worshipped during Khachi Pujo. Uma Mahesha Temple is located near the Jagannath Temple. Uma Mahesha Temple is expanded on the grassland of Ujjayanta Palace. The temple is saffron in color and is close to the Rajbari. Agartala Jagannath Temple is amusing not only from the pilgrim's point of view, this temple is also a remarkable architectural feat with its octagonal base and its impressive Pradakhin path round the sanctum. The pillars are crowned by square and pyramidal cones. The temple overlooking the Dighi Lake shows heavy inclination towards the Islamic style of architecture and design. Lokkinaran Temple was constructed with some financial assistance from the royal family of Tripura. According to the legendary tale of Bhagavat, Tomal Sri is closely associated with the life of Lord Krishna. Probably, considering this aspect, the Shivayats planted a Tomal tree in front of the temple. branches of the tomal tree have spread so nicely and it looks like a canopy which is indeed very very attractive. Gunabuti group of temples is situated in Udaipur. It was built in the name of Her Highness Maharani Gunabuti, wife of Maharaja Govindu Manikko, in the year 1668 AD. The architecture of these temples resembles other contemporary temples of Tripura, except that the top parts are without the stupa. Core chambers are marked by the presence of pitcher circular core chamber and the vestibule, which was large with stupa-like crown, is beautifully crafted like lotus. P. 
Kilak is a place of attraction for its archaeological remains of the 8th to 9th centuries. Pelak is situated at a distance of 100 kilometers from Agartala. The place is a treasure house of Buddhist and Hindu sculptures. There are some temple plaques of terracotta and stone images. At Pilak, the images of Ganesh, Shudyo, Durga are very important. The idol of Durga was found in the area of Bellonia about 70 years ago and was housed by a shonashi called Horonondugiri. Later, the Devi was worshipped by his disciple Radharani Bharuti as Raj Rajeshwari in Bellonia. The six feet tall idol weighs more than a ton. This stone image of Ponchonag was also found in Pilak. This Shujo image, holding a lotus, is 10 feet high. There are terracotta images of Ginnars. The bronze statues of Buddha were discovered in Rishumuk in Pilak. Chabimura or Teutamura is famous for its panels of rock carvings on the steep mountain walls on the bank of Gomuti River. There are huge carved images of Shiva, Vishnu, Kartik, Mahishashara Mardini Durga and other gods and goddesses. These images date back to 15th to 16th century AD.
Chabimura is 34 km away from Udaipur. Deutamura means God's Peak and it is a full range between Udaipur and Amurpur subdivision. These beautiful images are curved with a lot of dexterity on the rocky faces of Deutamura, which is steep at 90 degrees. In Baksanagar, after the denudation of a natural forest area, ruins of a brick-built structure emerged in the northwestern part of Shonamura, on the edges of the border with Bangladesh. Archaeological survey of India discovered the idol of Lord Buddha and confirmed that it had been a Buddha temple. Venuvan Vihar is also a very important monument in Agartala for the Buddhists and others. The shrine, though small in size, preserves some beautiful metal idols of Lord Buddha or Bodhisattva. The idols are Burmese in origin. Mohamuni is situated at the Monubankul village in the northeastern part of Sabrum subdivision of South Tripura. The pagoda is situated 155 kilometers away from Agartala airport. It is famous for its ancient Buddhist monastery. The monastery bears the Buddhist idioms of expression and religious architecture. A beautiful pagoda was built at Mohamuni. During the festival, Lord Buddha is worshipped in the monastery by both Buddhist and the Hindu communities. The important Buddhist relic at Pachatthol under North Tripura district is a very special attraction for all. An old Buddha temple named Buddha Bihar is situated here. The idol was brought from Yangon and was established in 1931. The image of Lord Buddha is very attractive and the place is exceptionally calm and quiet. 
Gacharthal is also home to a large segment of Buddhist Chakma population. There is another Buddha temple in between Pacharthal and Kanchunpur called the Jedpun Buddha Vihar. The idol of this Buddha temple is also brought from Yangon. This Buddha temple is of equal importance as the one in Pachatthal. In Kanchanpur, North Tripura, a beautiful Buddhist temple was established in 1938. It is said that a great monk came from Burma and established this beautiful wooden temple. Gadumia's Masjid holds the pride of place for the minority Muslims of Tripura. This is an imposing masjid located in the Shivnagar area of Agartala. Built with imported white marble, this exquisitely beautiful mosque has a large number of minarets, towers, and artworks on doors fronted by a sprawling green space for religious congregation, including the weekly Jumma Namaz. <laughs> The ancient Chandrapur Mosque, overlooking the plains of Bangladesh and Tripura, from a hillock, was restored by an initiative of the state government. Experts on Tripura's history attribute the construction of this masjid to the commander of the Mughal army which invaded Tripura in the year 1618 during the reign of King Yashodhar Manikka. Standing atop the secluded hillock in towering glory, the mosque beckons tourists to enjoy the majesty of its architectural beauty. Standing amidst the lush green lap of nature, Seven kilometers east of Agartala, Mariam Nagar is actually a historical site. The Catholic Church in the sparsely populated pastoral scenario was once used by the Portuguese settlers. The descendants of the original Portuguese settlers have by now ethnically and culturally melted down in the local population 
but the 169-year-old Shantirani Mariam Nagar Church still remains the place of worship and a very attractive monument. While watching all these rare archaeological sites, monuments, and places of historical interest, we are witness to a rare tradition and a rich cultural heritage that enthrall us and take us back to a glorious and exciting past where races and beliefs blend in perfect harmony. <laughs>